in our Kana campus, we are uh, making four types of uh, uh, charcoal method. You can add this charcoal, like a half kg or one kg. It just absorb and keep it like a bank. Make a fantastic uh, plant growth and which will lead to good uh, yielding to all the farmers. Kahana Shanti Vanam today is a green paradise. Forests, gardens and green spaces occupy the majority of land at Kahana. These are largely the result of the farming methods employed here. And one of the main ones is the use of biocharcoal. We started this biochar, activated biochar method and now we have a complete growth of plants in uniformity and the quality of plants are very good here. Preparing biocharcoal is a very ancient method. That what was used for cooking once upon a time is now being used for farming. For the tree plantation or sapling plantation or fruit plantation, anyway you will start preparing the pit like 2 by 2 feet and 2 feet depth or 3 by 3 feet and uh, uh, 2 feet depth in that you will be uh, putting uh, like top soils and a manure mix soil and vermicompost like that so once you uh, prepare the soil you can add this charcoal like a half kg or 1 kg with this uh, preparation to the soil and then we will plant the fruit plants like mango plant or coconut tree or any other orange or any fruit plant the activated uh, biochar also will be there and which will help in uh, provide the nutrient to the plant whenever the plant need because what all the organic matter and the nutrient or uh, uh, the fertilizer available in the soil it just absorb and keep it like a bank so whenever the plant need the plant root will penetrate and it will absorb from the soil shall we now see how bio charcoal is prepared at Kana which is so useful in making the soil fertile and contributes to high yield crops here in our Kana campus, we are uh, making four types of uh, uh, charcoal method. Uh, one is uh, mount method and we use this dry woods to create uh, charcoal from this. So we like, uh, we put all the woods like a mound and we cover up with the soil, with full of uh, soil and there will be no air uh, will go inside. And we have a small two, three openings in the bottom and we fired this. And once the uh, fire is started, we will just aramsay close all the uh, holes. So it will start burning inside without oxygen. So the wood which burn or the uh, organic material which burn without oxygen is uh, converted into charcoal as pyrolysis method charcoal. So once this charcoal is ready, the next day we just open this mound and we remove the charcoal woods like uh, uh, 18 hours 20 hours we just uh, leave it like this to burn without oxygen and we just uh, remove this and we start uh, uh, placing in the open air so once the charcoal is cooled down the surface area inside the charcoal it will be empty so once uh, it is empty we need to feed that with the organic matter so here we are just feeding with the uh, panjakavya and we just activating with this charcoal with the panjagavya. So we will just spread uh, panjagavya on the charcoal. So the uh, uh, space between the charcoal, the surface area between the charcoal will absorb this uh, organic uh, uh, like fertilizer inside this. The second method is the pit method. That is preparing bio charcoal in a pit. So we will just dig a pit like 8 feet by 4 feet or 12 feet by 4 feet or 12 feet by 6 feet and we will just remove the soil like 3 feet below the ground and we just put multiple sizes of woods inside the pit and we will just close it fully and 5% or 10% of opening we will start firing on that. So once the fire is made we will completely close the whole pit so without oxygen it will start again with the pyrolysis method charcoal and the next uh, uh, morning we will just open the pit and we will just activate with the micronutrients and microorganisms so like as i told panjagavya 
we shall now learn the third and fourth methods of preparing bio charcoal at Kanha. Uh, uh, in the farms, we are uh, collecting so many uh, weeds right inside the farm. There will be so many weeds, so we will just remove the weed and we will be making dry. Once it is dry, we will just put it in a drum, close a drum. We just place this drum inside this pit, so and we will fire the pit. Uh, so once the drum get hit inside, the small weeds all will turn into biochar. So when the air will go while firing, it will convert it as a ash. That is not. Uh, that is no use. So this is completely closed, and the burning is happen without oxygen. So the pyrolysis method, we will get a fine charcoal which we can use it for uh, uh, farming and plantation. So, and the fourth method which we are using here is a machine method which we used for a rice husk that we will dump it in the uh, machine. So, once this is started, we will start firing and the uh, three people will be working on the machine. So, every two to three hours, we will be getting around uh, eight to nine drums of uh, uh, rice husk uh, biocharcoal. So, this is a very uh, uh, tender and very small activated biocharcoal which we will get from the machine and we will activate with the same panjagavya jiva martha like that so we have seen how biocharcoal is prepared at kanha farmers can use these methods in their own lands biocharcoal will definitely help in the health of the plants and the yield they like it they can come to kanha santivanam We'll teach them at no cost at all. They can stay here for free for three nights, learn the technique of how to make use of, how to first of all make charcoal in an effective way, how to activate it with various uh, media.